All right, and behind all that spirit of hiring this new coach, there is a business aspect to all of this, and it's a very big business. THV 11's Rolly Hoyt breaks down Pittman's contract terms and how it all fits for fans who may be feeling down after the last two coaching disappointments. Dorian and Don, the optimist will look at this contract as like getting in on the ground floor of a startup that's ready to take off. While the pessimist will tell you another word for ground floor is basement. Either way, the program appears to have no place to go but up. Sam Pittman's work with the offensive line has him in line for a big personal payday. His five-year deal will give him $3 million each season before incentives. Depending on those sweeteners, that's the smallest salary in the SEC, according to the USA Today coaching database. Hard to call three mil a year peanuts, but as the commercial says... Here, it just means more. Five of the top ten highest paid coaches all come from the SEC. That includes Pittman's former boss, Kirby Smart, over in Georgia. Chad Morris's base pay was $4 million last year. That, incidentally, is the same as Ed Orgeron at LSU, the top-ranked team in the country heading into the college football playoff. Go Tigers! Now about that Chad Morris contract. He's still on the payroll because of a huge payout built into his contract. It stings to know that a coach who won only four games in two years is making $300,000 a month. But that's the wildly escalating price of doing business in college football. Arkansas is technically still on the hook to pay Brett Bielema. But multiple reports say the university has stopped writing checks to the former coach. He's on the New England Patriots staff now, but only getting $50,000 a year. It may all end up in court. Um, I know I've got to get this search right. You got that right, Mr. Juracek. As is almost always the case, Pittman becomes the highest paid public employee in Arkansas. He vaults past Juracek's other big hire, Eric Musselman, on the men's basketball team. And a little perspective for those who question paying all this attention to sports. The University of Arkansas pays five coaches $7.8 million a year. The school's chancellor, Joseph Steinmetz, makes half a million dollars to run the place. Now, we mentioned how the university has stopped paying Bielema his buyout money. They may catch a break on how much they have to pay Chad Morris to walk away. CBS Sports is reporting that he could be on his way to an offensive coordinator slot, but it's still going to sting a little. It would be for Gus Malzahn at Auburn.